looking for a little bit of marijuana, but I'm pretty sure you guys are chaperoned. I'm probably going to be disappointed in you if uh, we find any. A team of mostly black student athletes from Delaware State University say they were racially profiled by Georgia Sheriff's deputies. The women's lacrosse team was heading home from playing their final game of the season in Florida when their motor coach was pulled over on I-95. Authorities say it was traveling improperly in the left lane. Soon after the traffic stopped, deputies brought in drug sniffing dogs. The Liberty County Sheriff William Bowman says a canine unit initially alerted deputies to something at the front of the bus. Anything that you could put marijuana in, maybe a device where you smoke it, maybe something that you could weigh it, like a, a set of scales. If there is something in there that is questionable, please tell me now. Because um, if we find it, guess what? We're not going to be able to help you. Body cam video released by law enforcement shows deputies searching bags, something Sheriff Bowman initially claimed did not happen during the traffic stop. All right, I'm not gonna tell you what it was, but it wasn't illegal. All right, ladies, thank you. Sheriff Bowman defended his department and denied the officers involved racially profiled the bus riders. In a letter, Delaware State University President Tony Allen wrote, we do not intend to let this or any other incident like it pass idly by. We are prepared to go wherever the evidence leads us. We have video, we have allies. Perhaps more significantly, we have the courage of our convictions. The Delaware State Attorney General Kathleen Jennings called the incident troubling. Jennings supports an investigation by the Department of Justice's Civil Rights Division. Sheriff Bowman says an internal investigation is ongoing. I would love to have an opportunity to speak with those young ladies and express how we can make things better, what we could do to make our training better, how can we make them understand that we are not here to hurt them, we are here to help them. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this video, check out these other videos from USA Today to stay up to date with all the latest news.